I'm like way excited. My excitement is an understatement of the overall joy and happiness I feel in reacting to Dimash. So let's get to it. Hey, it's Serene. Thanks for being here. Tonight, we are going to react to Dimash. I have never heard him sing, so I'm kind of excited. We're gonna listen to SOS. Please be sure to subscribe below. I'd love to see you here more on my channel and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It's the nicest compliment. Let's get to this. Oh my gosh, I just paused when he started to go low, but seriously, that high voice, I have tears in my eyes. I don't know, I don't know what language he's speaking, but oh my goodness, the music, the tone is speaking to my soul. Let's hear his, his lower voice and see where we're going from here. <laughs> crying um I don't know what to say I'm just like the fact that somebody can sing across their range wow I can't even I can't even speak the fact that somebody can sing up in their range like that so seamlessly I'm like crying because I'm just like so touched by how gorgeous this tone is I am so speechless right now I I wish he were in my life so I could hear him sing like every single week. I guess I could get on YouTube every single week and listen to him, but like, seriously? Seriously. Let's keep going. Okay, that high note he just did, it was a little, it had, wow, that, I did a ton of vibrato. He had vibrato in it, not that, quite that much. Um, it was really dramatic. Um, I don't know if I liked that particular um, move for that note. So it was a little bit too much vibrato for me. I wanted a little bit more clear tone with a little bit more vibrato at the end. Let's keep going. Wow, right here he's showing a lot of vocal agility with all the moving he's doing and he's really leaning into that pop of a little bit of hoo, a little bit of whine and a little bit more of uh, just that pop sound coming through right here. Oh my gosh, when he hits those high notes, they they stab me, they kill me, they are just... <laughs> I just love those high notes. How high is that? That is a... That's an E5, you guys. Followed by an F sharp 5. It's so high. It's so high. Wow, 
wow, okay, so let's see how high that last one was. Was that really what I heard? I think it is. A B6, are you serious? Holy crap. That's an E6, my friends. Um, it's so high. It's so high. Let's keep going. Wow. He, he did that one really dramatic note right before then, right before he went into his really, really high stuff, um, which I'm okay with. But the one where he puts in a lot of vibrato, I don't feel are as powerful for me personally. Um, but man. Wow. And then when he gets down and like quiet, I'm like, yes, I believe you. I believe the story you're telling. It gets very personal. <sighs> Often, if you are a singer that sings with a mic and you get really close like that, you don't have to get really loud, but for some reason when you get closer to the mic, it feels more honest, you know? Like if I were to get closer to my mic, <laughs> does it feel more honest? In this scenario, not, not in this scenario. You feel me. Okay, so right there, he's on a B3, right? A B3. That's very, very low. I think any person would kill for this range. Any female singer would kill for this range. Soprano, alto, any singer who is in the tenor bass range, oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure, well, okay, if you were a bass and you had a gorgeous low tone, I doubt that you would really want to sing up to here. I mean, really. That's like in the whistle register, you know? And, you know, there may be some people who are just like, I love my low, low notes, you know, which is, is fine. But seriously, I can't think of anybody who would not kill for the range that Dimash has. Wow. Let's keep going. does it again I just can't with how much control he has over his voice. The control that Dimash has over his voice is incredible. There at the end, it was very, very acapella and he was singing all by himself. There was no wobble in his voice. It was very like, I guess the vibrato was there if he wanted it to. So when he wanted vibrato, he was very deliberate in how he put in vibrato into his voice. But there at the end, he didn't want a lot of vibrato and he kept it very clear toned. But the control that you have to have as a performer to have that much control over your voice when singing in front of 
anybody. You could be singing in front of nobody and have issues with that wobble because you feel nervous or whatever, but it takes a great amount of control in your mind and it takes a great amount of control in your diaphragmatic area and in your breath and in your voice. So, oh my goodness, props to him. That was so pleasurable. I got goosebumps like so many times during this, this reaction. So, oh, Thank you so much for telling me to react to this because it was truly a pleasure. So I'll see you next time here at Serene Vocal Studio. Please give this video a thumbs up. It is the nicest compliment. And I'll see you next time. Talk to you soon. Bye. Peace.